Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update. And uh, currently got all the U.S. equity futures trading to the downside. The Dow is off by 144 points. The NASDAQ 131. The S&P is off 25. And the Russell is down uh, 7 points out there. Gold is up 10 bucks. Silver is up 4 pennies. Uh, you've got... Uh, Light sweet crude is off a buck eleven, trading at seventy one oh four. Natural gas just can't find a bid out there. It's off a nickel, trading down at three sixty five. So, um, what do we want to look at out here? So, the question is, what does all this mean, right? So, let's get a, let's go. So, here's what here's the first thing that we know. What we know is that the NQ, and this is what we're really think is the most important chart that we'll be watching today, is testing support. And support for it is the bottom of its daily profile. And that level is at 15,723. We're at 15,731 right now. So the NQ is the chart to be watching today. We'll switch over real quickly here and take a look at the uh, short-term time frame. And by doing that, we're going to be looking at the 30-minute charts. Now, on the 30-minute charts out here, you'll see in the upper left is the ES Mini. It has a TD9 count bottom that is in effect. If price can clear its oscillator and change line about 46.34, you should see a move to 46.55. That would be where the sellers are sitting at, about 46.55. In the case of the NQ, the NQ, it's really the 60-minute time frame chart. We, although I'm only showing the 30-minute here, actually I can probably change this. The oscillator and change line will be off. Uh, it's okay. It'll be off. I'll tell you what that number is on the. So here's the 60 minute time frame chart. And the 60 minute time frame chart has a confirmed roads momentum indicator bottom where price needs to close above is 15,751. What's showing up here is the 30 minute oscillator and change line. The 60 minute is priced at 15,751. I can see that on another screen out there. So if the NQ can close above 15,751, then you're looking at a further rally. So if we look at the 30 minute chart here for the Dow, it has a TD9 count bottom. And as long as price remains above, stays above, closes above 35612, that has a valid bottoming signal, as does the Russell 2000. So from an intraday standpoint at 902 in the morning, you should expect and anticipate at least a rally attempt. And the NQ, if it closes above 15751, we're likely headed higher, 15848, maybe 15958. Folks, stay tuned. Tommy O'Brien is up next. And have a fantastic weekend, a fantastic Friday. Be safe out there, and we'll see you again soon.